Hi, TK class. It's Miss De Silva, your school counselor. We're having to do things a little different for the next few weeks. So as you can see, I'm here to teach you through the video. This is me in my house. I thought that we could um, talk a little a bit about some of the things we had already been learning before we had to leave school. Um, and then I'm gonna read you a short little story. Okay, so let's see if you recognize this picture that I'm gonna show you. All right, do you remember this one? I bet you do. This was a picture when we started learning about different feelings. We were talking about how we can feel all kinds of different feelings and emotions. So for this picture, we had a story and we talked about how he was feeling happy, right? And then we also looked at this picture and we talked about how sometimes we feel sad. That's right. I know you're all saying it along with me. So if you remember after that, we saw, we talked a more about this picture and he was feeling <gasps> surprised. Remember the pop-up book? Everybody show me your surprised face. <gasps> Oh, you guys are so good at that. And now I have one more to see if you're gonna remember. <gasps> Show me your scared face. Remember she was scared because the alarm went off at school? Well, these might be all different feelings that you've been having lately now that school is closed. I know I've had days where I've felt more happy, I've had days where I feel more sad. I was surprised when school was, when they told us school was gonna be closed all of a sudden. And then also I felt kind of, I have been feeling kind of scared sometimes because we don't want anybody to get sick right now, right? So that's what's made me feel kind of scared. So I wanted to make sure you know that it's okay to be feeling any of these things right now. Any one of these feelings is normal and it's okay. Now, sometimes we might wanna do things that can make us feel a little bit better, right? I'm gonna read you a story where we're gonna talk about that more. Um, we are going to look at one more picture and then I'm gonna read that story to you. So I want you to look at this picture and tell me what you think this person might be feeling. All right, do you see it? What do you think? Look at his face. Look at his body. And especially look at his hands. They're all clenched, right? Everybody do that with me. Clench your fists really tight and try to make a face like that student. If you're thinking what I'm thinking, I think he looks angry, right? It looks like something happened when he was playing with his blocks in class. Somebody came over and knocked his blocks over. And that made him feel very, what? That's right, angry. So anger is a feeling that we all get sometimes. It's okay. We just don't wanna feel angry all the time because anger is a very uncomfortable feeling. If you're always feeling with your like this with your fists all tight and your face scrunched up and mad at somebody then that'd be very uncomfortable to feel all the time let's listen to this story about someone and who feels angry and how she deals with it okay 
we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna read it to you and show it to you. Here it is. It's called Angry by Savina Collins. And it says, do you ever feel angry? What makes you feel that way? We're gonna learn about what anger is and how to deal with it. Cookies! I love cookies. They are so yummy. I want another one. Mom says, no more cookies, Isa. Tears tickle my eyes. My heart beats fast. My face feels hot. I am angry. Look at her face. Do you notice how it's all red? And her eyebrows, and she has her hands on her hips. Think about when you feel angry. Do you do things like that? Maybe if I stomp my feet and scream, I will get a cookie. Mom says, go to your room, Isa. I stomp my feet all the way to my room. My anger makes me feel shaky inside. In my room, I take some deep breaths. Let's practice that just like Isa's doing when she's taking a break with some deep breaths. So you're gonna breathe in through your nose and we're gonna count to three. And then when you breathe out, we're gonna count to five. Ready? Breathe in, two, three, and out. Two, three, four, five. One more time. In, out, Ooh, good practice in the middle of reading our book, just like Isa. Let's get back to our story. I find a funny book to read. Mom comes in my room to see why I'm laughing. We read together. Mom puts her arms around me. She asks if I am still angry. Angry? What was I angry about? I ask. So I want you to think and answer these questions with whoever is there in your house with you. What did Isa do? Let me start that question over again. What did Isa do when she noticed she was feeling angry? Do you remember? Let me show you the pictures in the book to see if you remember. Here it is. Remember, she went to her room to take a break. She took deep breaths and she found a funny book to read. So she found something that would make her laugh so that she wouldn't feel so angry anymore. So those are two really great ideas if you're ever feeling angry. What are they again? Can you name both of them for me? Right here on this page. What's the first one? Deep breaths, perfect. And the second idea she gave? Finding something funny. So she found a funny book, but anything that would make you laugh. 
Okay, Miss Parker's class, I miss you so much. I hope you enjoyed our lesson today and reading a story with me. Uh, keep tuning in. There'll be a video from me each week or some type of video to watch. Okay? I miss all of you.